Looking at the last game for the Oklahoma City Thunder, it was a loss to Memphis. Yeah, I thought their defense in that game was about as shaky as it could be. At home, you know, that kind of defense isn't going to cut it, never mind if you're on the road. They really look tired to me, and I don't know if they had travel issues or if they were out too late, but something was amiss because they had no energy. So on the floor for Orlando, the kid in a two guard. Brian Vucevic with a power forward and center. Tobias Harris is out there with Peyton. And it's blocked. And they'll keep possession. Shots good by Ibaka. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Peyton passes to the kid. Once again off the mark, Orlando. You're not doing your team any good forcing a shot like that one. You know, I agree. He's got to know better than that. 11 feet away. Here's Perkins. Cashes in for a double-digit lead. Kevin, they've been playing with an awful lot of energy here, getting a lot of offensive rebounds. That's always an indicator of hustle and energy. Peyton drives in. Here's the kid. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. The kid's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. For Oklahoma City, they've gone 5 of 7 today so far. Nice shooting to get this game underway. When you face the Oklahoma City Thunder, one of the things defensively that you have to prioritize is keeping them out of transition. This team is long and athletic, and if they get out in the open court, you're in big trouble. Way on the clock. Here's Westbrook. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Russell Westbrook, one of the best success stories when it comes to converting a scoring guard to playing the point. It, but it's his overall talent that's made him successful. His will, his competitiveness, and his incredible athleticism. And Westbrook is a phenomenal rebounder and scorer at the point guard position. He gets steals. He really is one of the stat sheet stuffer supreme guys in the league. The Thunder leading by seven. Now the pass to Durant. Ibaka with a screen on Harris. Durant just inside the line. Rebounded by Vucevic. And Westbrook every season among the league leader Steve in assists, but, but also unfortunately in turnovers. Well, with his scoring burden, you know, that's to be expected, but it's definitely an area he can continue to improve. Here's the kid. A second chance effort. Vucevic with the bucket. Vucevic has got his first basket. It's a great play under the boards for him. And, you know, that's the standard that he sets. It seems like all those second chance points, I mean, they're there for him, game in, game out. Westbrook dishes to Durant. Pass to Ibaka. Inside the purpose. And that one's good. Well, they've settled into their offense very quickly here today. Yeah, they're zoned in, making the most out of their possessions here. And the Thunder making a switch here. Jackson's checked in. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group. Here. Nicholson's checked in for Vucevic. Gordon comes in for Channing Fry. Marcus is checked in for Tobias Harris. And Fournier subbed in for Peyton. Eleven points for him in that last game against Dallas. Four on the shot clock. The fader. Can't get it to go. And Oklahoma City will go with it the other way. 149 left here in the first quarter. Westbrook with it. Now guarded by the kid. And the official signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. So we got a moment now to check out the story on Reggie Jackson. How his last 10 games have gone. Averaging 9 points per game. 5 assists and 5 rebounds. And some pretty good numbers, I think, guys, when you look overall at his contributions. Yeah, and he's always looking to raise his game, and that's what you see in his consistency. One of the important characteristics that he brings to the table. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more. I like that shooting. Convert second chance opportunities, Kevin. Bill Bridenauer is checked in for the Magic. Getting ready for Oklahoma City. Kendrick Perkins, he's checked in for Adams. Ibaka comes in for Nick Collison. Anthony Morrow's checked in for Kevin Durant. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Jeremy Lamb. On the court for Orlando. At the turn three, it's Oladipo and Tobias Harris. 
Ryan Vucevic are the power forward and center. And it's the kid in at the one spot. The Magic trail by 14. Out to the right wing. Jacks up a three. Good. The kid's got eight points. Well, I tell you what, he loves getting looks like that from the three-point line. No one near him. That's a warm-up jumper for him. Ibaka sets the pick for Westbrook. Wide open look. Rebounded by Vucevic. Vucevic has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. In this quarter, he's really been off the mark. He just looks a little bit unsettled. Here's the kid. And again, it's the magic from deep. They're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results right now. Yeah, and in fact, three of the last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now let's go to Doris Burke. Doris? Well, thank you, Kevin. As you know, Russell Westbrook, one of the most competitive guys you'll meet. He looks as though he is angry on the court, and quite often he is. As Kevin Durant has said, anger could be good and bad, but it's on the good side for us. He doesn't like anybody he is playing against. He does a great job every single game of playing with fire and with force. Guys? He's something else, Doris. Thanks. Westbrook kicks to Ibaka. Top of the key. Rebounded by Vucevic. Vucevic has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Nikola Vucevic possessing prototype size for the center position. Seven foot tall, has about a nine and a half foot standing reach. Even without great leaping ability, he can play over the top of a lot of opponents. Oklahoma City leading by five. Westbrook drives in. Outside for Jackson. Here's Ibaka. Another miss by Ibaka. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this fourth. Rejected by Westbrook. And the Thunder pushing it up now. Morrow leading the charge. And Jackson throws it down hard. Got some serious agility coming out of the backcourt. You know, that bucket might count for a little more than two points when he finishes <laughs> with that kind of flourish. Yeah, against a D that was already reeling a little bit. That was like a body blow. Inside. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. It's going to be on Victor Oladipo. Well, the Thunder with an athletic guard rotation. Too. That's the way to shoot the rock. Athleticism, scoring, and rebound. It's go time. Check in. I'm on it. For the Orlando Magic, they come into this one following a loss to Oklahoma City. Yeah, I thought their defense in that game was about as shaky as it could be. At home, you know, that kind of defense isn't going to cut it. Never mind if you're on the road. They really look tired to me, and I don't know if they had travel issues or if they were out too late, but something was amiss because they had no energy. On the court for Orlando, at the two and three, and Tobias Harris. Brian Vucevic are the power forward and center, and it's Peyton in at the one. The kid is checked in for Orlando. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Yes, over the break, I listened in on Jacques Vaughn's huddle. He went over the offensive plan and said that it hinges on running through the kid. That may be a strategy that comes as a little bit of a surprise, but Coach is showing a lot of confidence in his ability to produce an outstanding effort today. Something else he mentioned is that he's giving them the green light on offense. He wants to see a high volume of shots. It's still very early in this game, so there's plenty of time for those changes to take effect, Kevin. Thanks, Doris. And the Spurs with some changes. Bonner, he's checked in for Dion. Bellinelli comes in for Kawhi Leonard. And it's green in for Mono Ginobili. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group. Nicholson's checked in for Vucevic. Gordon comes in for Channing Frye. Maurice Harkless is checked in for Tobias Harris. And Evan Fournier subbed in for Oladipo. The drive by Green. Outside, Bellinelli tries again, and Duncan finishes inside. Duncan's got his second bucket of the night. They have got to put a body on him, because otherwise, with his agility and athleticism, they're not going to be able to contain him on the offensive glass. 
Well, Tim Duncan, in a lot of ways, the epitome of, of Steve's substance over style. Yeah, no doubt, Kevin, in, both in terms of his game and his personality. He's just a winner and a leader, but he does it in such a quiet fashion that uh, sometimes people forget to take notice. Kevin, we've got a moment here to take a look at what the Spurs have done as far as NBA stats go over the last month. First in shooting percentage. First and lowest turnovers a game. And they're also number one in opponent field goal percentage. This is a team that prides itself on not giving up easy shots. And the shooting is really what stands out to me. This is a team that, that does such a good job of finding open looks. They're unselfish. They work offensively to create good shots. And when they do that, they're on their game. They're tough to beat. Soft touch off the glass. Duncan's got seven points. And when I think about Duncan's leadership, man, I could go on and on. I don't even know if I have enough time. But one of the things that stands out is he's never put himself above his teammates or the staff, and he allows himself to be coached extremely hard by Greg Popovich. He's relentless, dedicated, and in many ways, he can lead without saying a word. Here's Mills. Another one falls for San Antonio. Everything going according to the script for them offensively so far. Yeah, the shots have been falling, that's for sure. The offense really in a good group. Here's the kid, covered by Mills. Here's the kid, knocks down the step back, Jay. The kid's got his second basket of the game. Easy little jump shot for him right there, guys. Mills, that's a two-pointer. Top of the key jumper, no good. And the Come. All right, the second quarter beginning. Now for San Antonio. Tim Duncan, he's checked in for Bonner. Ginobili comes in for Green. And Tony Parker subbed in for Patty Mills. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Andrew Nicholson, he's checked in for Vucevic. Gordon comes in for Harkless. The kid, he's checked in for Oladipo. And Luke Ridnauer subbed in for Peyton. And so in the game for the Magic, the kid in its shooting guard. The forwards are Gordon and Harris. Andrew Nicholson out there with Luke Ridnauer. The Magic trail by 15. What is insane about the Spurs and how successful they are as a franchise is that in their entire franchise history, they've only missed the playoffs four times. That is absolutely remarkable. Ginobili kicks to Leonard. Now here's Ginobili. Not a lot of room. The dish to Duncan. Shot clock at six. Ginobili outside. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. It has not been an easy quarter for him, at least offensively speaking. Ridnauer kicks to Harris. 122 left here in the second. Kicks it out to Ridnauer. Here's the kid. That's good. And it's Ridnauer picking up the assist. Nine points for the kid. You know, he's knocking down his shots today, but it hasn't really translated to the scoreboard yet. Duncan with the screen for Parker. Top of the key, Duncan. 55 seconds left in the first half. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Here's Parker on the money from 12 feet away. Parker's got his third basket of the night. And he may be the guy to put this game even farther out of reach. Ridnauer with it. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. To the right side. Here's the kid. And the rebound goes to Duncan. And the defense got away with a major lapse there. Ginobili outside. He dishes it to Leonard. Diaw, the screen. Taken away by Ridnauer. And now Orlando on the break. It's good, and the San Antonio lead is cut down to 10 on the bucket from the kid. I'd say that shot was well within his range. <laughs> you think so? I mean, I was pretty good from two feet and in myself. That's a gimme there. And he's got his first chance at the line here. 
Here's Parker. That misses. Would have counted had it gone in. And that does it for the first half. Then he's checked in for Fry. Reese Harkless comes in for Tobias Harris. And it's the kid in for Peyton. Patty Mills is one of the first indigenous Australians to play in the NBA. Trained at the same Australian Institute of Sport that helped develop Andrew Bogan. He played his college ball at St. Mary's in the Bay Area and has really developed into a nice backup point guard. Kicks it to Duncan. Shot clock at five. Puts it up from 15. Nicholson grabs the board. Nicholson's got three rebounds so far in the game. And Mills more of a scoring point, not a big assist man by any means, Steve, but, but he keeps his turnovers extremely low. Yeah, great shooter with deep range, terrific speed and quickness. You know, he puts a lot of pressure on a defense. San Antonio making a switch here. Bellinelli's checked in. Gordon's checked in for Orlando. Evan Fournier comes in for Victor Oladipo. Here's the kid. 12 points for him. Hurtless. It's good from long range. I like the offensive awareness to exploit that lack of coverage on that play. Spurs leading by four. 122 left to play in the third. And Mills kicks to Bonner. On the wing, Green. Six to shoot. Out of bounds. Orlando takes possession. Well, now an opportunity to look at some of the stats on Patty Mills. How this year is going for him. He's putting up about eight points per game. Three assists and three rebounds. And when you take his overall contributions on the whole, he's been putting up some pretty good numbers, but I think he can do more. And Steve, sometimes that's just part of the game, weathering periods where your stats might not show all of what you're doing on the floor. He feeds it to Bellinelli. Comes up empty down low. Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. From deep three-point range, no good from the kid. For San Antonio, they've gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. The shot by Bellinelli, no good. I thought he rushed it a little bit, guys, because he had a clean look, just lost his focus. Here's the kid, averaging 13 points a contest. Easy call there. No question about that one. You can hear the impact from where I am. For Orlando, they have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. Good on the second free throw. Spurs leading by three. And here's Mills, averaging eight points a game. He kicks it to Green. Unloads from 13. Buries the jump shot. Tell you what, fellas, he loves those mid-range jumpers. I mean, that's where he makes his money. Here's the kid. And released it in time, but it's off the mark. Come on. Who died? Look a little nervous. Well, I heard it's never a good thing to be called into the GM's office, especially the day your 10-day contract is up. So if you're gonna release me, I would just appreciate it if you did it quickly. <laughs> I'm gonna be brutally honest, kid. You, uh, you haven't done enough to secure a, a regular roster spot. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. You have done enough to secure another 10-day contract, though. Excuse me? Yeah, I'm gonna give you another shot to, uh, Prove you belong in this league permanently, huh? Hey, you won't regret it either. I'm gonna make it awfully hard for you to let me go. Uh, I hope so. Look, the contract's on my secretary's desk. You go sign that on your way out. Get out of here. All right, thank you. All right. Where's my lunch? <laughs> 